Hi, so here's the second piece of today's design um, discussion. What I'm going to do today is show you a couple of website designs and I'm going to just talk about them. We're going to be looking particularly at the factors that I introduced in the previous screencast, which is you know, what is design and what's important for effective design. I'm going to talk through how I read a web design. Let's think particularly about attention, about communication, about stuff, about focus, all of those things. So when this web page first comes up for you, you probably thought, wow, that looks quite nice. And it does. It's a, it's a very pretty, pretty design. So this is a mock-up for a website, uh, the homepage for a website for a company called InnovaWorks. Now, what do InnovaWorks do? I'll let your eye go around the page. Have you worked it out yet? Maybe you've worked it out already. Okay, well, it does tell you in the first main paragraph, InnovaWorks is a US-based outsourcing software development company providing high-quality, cost-effective solutions for your business. Okay, so what do InnovaWorks do? It's, uh, it's not really obvious. And when you look at the, at the page itself, without reading the content, without reading any of that body copy, what, what is an overworks? Most particularly, if you're looking for a software company, are you in the right place? So what jumps out first? Well, you've got this heading at the top, textual slideshow goes here. That's a placeholder, obviously, that the designers did. Um, that might tell you something. One really good test when you look at a web page like this in fact, there's, there's a group of tests. One is, take all of the words away and just look at the imagery. Another is, take all the imagery away and just look at the headings. Do the headings on their own give you an idea? Do they provide the gettability that the page needs? Can you get what the page is about with only a few clues? Now, when I look at this page, I see a, an appealing design but the purpose of a web page isn't to make you look at the design or enjoy the design. The purpose of a web page is to communicate. So what do you get? You get in overworks. OK, that doesn't tell us what it is. Solutions that get you there. OK, right. OK, I figured it out. These, this is a civil engineering firm and they make bridges. They specialize in su suspension bridges. That's what I would think. Solutions that get you there and a picture of a bridge. Clearly, they do bridges. The um, Ogilvy Agency a while ago did some research and this is probably about 20 years ago and they they figured out conclusively that when you've got advertisements that have a picture in them and people see the picture and assume that the advertisement is advertising the picture advertising the thing that's in the picture so You've got to be very, very careful what you put on a web page. And basically, we're looking at gettability, guys. So, you know, web page, if it's about software, a software service, shouldn't have a bridge on it. Let me look at the at the main heading. Who is in overworks? Question mark. Now, that's what's known as a rhetorical question. It's a question that doesn't expect an answer. Um, who is in overworks? Question mark. To me, when I get that, I think. I don't know, and what's more, I don't care, and what's more, buy. You know, you've gone, there's, there's nothing here that's going to grab my attention. There's nothing that I've seen so far. If I'm looking for a good um, software development company, there's nothing here that shows me that I'm in the right place. Absolutely. So this is the design that the client had done. Um, it's lovely in many ways, but fundamentally, as a web page, it's failing because it's not communicating very well. Here's another one. This button, request more info. Okay. Now, who wants more info? Have you ever gone onto the web and think, you know what, I'm going to spend my lunch time looking at info. Yeah, I think what I'd like to do right now is just request some info. You don't do it. That button, that's the, that's the biggest, strongest call to action on the page, and it doesn't tell me what I'm going to get or what I want to happen or where I want to go. It's just saying... More info, just a very generic, would you like more info? And the answer to that is going to be no. Because it's, what's in it for me? There's nothing in it for more info. Now, find out how Innovaworks can boost my business and save me thousands of 
squillions of dollars, that I get. That's a benefit. There's no benefit in more info. The last thing I want to do is just read info. So I'm going to flip over to... Now, this is my redesign for the home page. I decided that in, in conversations with the client that the key differentiator for these guys was their people. Now, the, the issue with Innovaworks is that they started out as a US-based software company and they've since opened up an office in Macedonia, which is in you know, Eastern Europe. And Macedonia is quite unique. It's got a very, very high technical mathematical education system, very, very good quality, and not a lot of jobs. So there's thousands of millions of people in Macedonia who are very, very well educated, and, um, and yet wages are really low. So this company, with a lot of foresight, moved into Macedonia, and they've set up software development. So they've got all these kind of really, really, really smart graduates developing software in their office out there, where their headquarters is like California as a mailing address. Now, in my discussions with the client, this kind of goes back to what we were saying about branding yesterday. We needed something that was going to be a hook. We kind of explored the issue, well, are people going to be prejudiced about the fact that our development team is in Macedonia? Are they going to be turned off by it? So should we kind of try and hide the fact? And when I thought about it, I thought, well, look, anybody who's going to mind that your development team is based in Macedonia, if you hide the fact at the beginning, then how far down the sales process are they going to get before their prejudice kicks in and they decide they don't want to play? How much time is it going to waste? And how much is it going to cost you to go down that route? So I said, well, let's zag. Let's go the other way. You know, when everyone else sigs, you zag. Keep away from the flock. So I said, well, let's, let's really focus on the benefits of this amazing team that you've got. And that's why I've replaced the bridge with a picture of that guy. And, you know, he's looking at the camera. It's an honest, candid picture. You look at the picture and you think, who's he? So let, let's look at this page and let's look at some of the differences. There's a lot less going on. Now, there's more above the fold on the original design with the bridge. My redesign is actually simpler. The, it, there's a bit more text, a bit more body text. Now, I have written that text, so I did the copywriting for this site. But generally, there are fewer things to look at. If you just have a look at this, there's quite a lot of things vying for your attention. If you kind of half close your eyes, so you're looking through your eyelashes, and uh, count how many kind of blocks there are on the page, there's about you know, 20 or more different things that stand out. On the other side, it's about half of that number. So we've got a larger logo. I've also re changed the strap line. The strap line used to be... Um, solutions that get you there or something like that. Um, I changed it to right first time, on time, every time, which is really, really setting their stall out that the solutions that they make are done to the, uh, done to the highest quality. Um, so I've, I've got the guy, I've got a message from him, it's a personal message, it's showing the quality of his English, although I wrote it. And then we've got our main heading, software as a service, because that's what they do. They do software as a service, so online applications, web-based apps, with extra service. So we're taking what could have been perceived as a weakness, which is we're an offshore company working for the American market, and we are turning it into a strength. So we're saying that because they've got this huge team of 30-odd or however many it is, really talented, smart people who can work for a fraction of the price that a US developer would work for, you get extra service, you get extra care, extra attention, and that's the way that we work. I've got some call-outs down the right-hand side, and I've got another kind of blog post there. I've got the contact details, and then when you scroll down, we've got a footer here again with some useful articles and news. Again, it's all a bit simpler, but what I want to draw your attention to is these three on-links, as I call them at the bottom. Every web page should have links at the end of the content that tells you where to go next. And here we've got three pages. Um, it's basically like a, a four-page website. It's got the home page that says basically this is who we are. The next page is what's so special about us, which is the next step. Then it's how we work, how we can deliver breakthrough results for you. 
And you see there's a benefit in that breakthrough results for you. And it talks about you. And then the final one, if you think you found the team for you, we'd love to hear about your project. It's personal, it's emotional, you can connect with it. And that will conclude the analysis of the web page. And I hope it's been useful. Thank you.